a orange one here so i literally haven't played this game in like months right now so i'm just trying to figure out what on earth i was doing it looks like i've got my guns out and we're generating our power back so i think we have been fighting around here possibly i don't know i don't know exactly what we were fighting i'm just gonna wait till we get our power back um yeah i think that We've been trying to clear out this area around this doctor's office around here. You can see we've got that doctor's office. Uh, yeah, it says dock right there. Yeah. But I think... I think we're okay. just want to make sure that this area is cleared out, though, of zombies. Um, there's a couple of them there. Yeah, okay. Why don't we just go up here just for a minute and just kind of get my bearings. Yeah, okay. It looks like, yeah, this is the doctor's office. And we have right in here the auto dock, right? So we could do some operations on ourselves here. Um, like, I could install... Thermal dissipation. Oh wow, these pretty much are guaranteed to work. That's pretty awesome. Um, so we got some CBMs that I wanted to install. I think that that'll probably be what we're doing this episode. Yeah, I think that we would like made our way down here just so that we could kill these um, last few zombies. Could drop that. Uh, it's not a tank, is it? No. Yeah, I need to um, honestly... Uh, get the uh, towel set that has the tanks on it. Um, gonna get the chain out. We're not even that focused. I was gonna maybe possibly see if we could get our unarmed a little bit, but it's like kind of what's the point. Yeah. We'll just kind of make sure that the whole area around here is clear of zombies, and then I want to start trying to get these things installed. But it always helps to be very thorough your zombies, especially when you're going to be auto-docking, <laughs> you know? You don't want anything walking up on you mid-operation, is all I'm saying. I mean, we basically cleared out a lot of the city, though, so I think that we would be fine, but yeah, like, look, there's like a Hulk right there. And look, they're even coming towards us. Yay! Come here, buddy. I think we'll get out our laser rifle here. Yeah. Hello, Hulk. Yeah, I know that we could probably be being a little bit more effective in our damage dealing to him, but it's fine. Uh, where's the Juggernaut? The Juggernaut's kind of on here, too. Okay, they're dead. Good. The juggernaut coming over here. I just want to make sure that they kind of are. It's kind of annoying. We get the Jane out then. Yeah, because we definitely want to deal with that juggernaut. I think before, um, before too late. You know. Let's just go ahead and charge up a little bit, just get that power back, and then we'll probably have to deal with that Juggernaut, honestly. Yeah, I think it's getting to the point where it's almost time for me to restart uh, a new character. I think Nosh has, has been really fun to play as. But I feel like I've gotten to the point where we're, like, invincible, and I'm not sure what else content-wise there is for me. Um... That Juggernaut really is going to just mess that car up, something rotten. He's going to attract the whole neighborhood while he's doing that. Great. Um, okay, both the Skeletal Juggernauts have kind of seen me. It's going to end up being kind of a problem. I think that we got it, though. We just kind of need to clear him out. And honestly, I could just come back here after I kill one of them. Yeah, I could do that. That'd be super easy, actually. I should probably do that. Let's just 
kill this one and then we'll go back to our car or whatever and we'll charge up there. Okay, he actually did not die from that. Whoops, that's not good. Yeah, I think that we have the cybernetics where we can do... Um, what we basically need to do now. At this point in the game, pretty easily. Okay, Juggernaut, keep on coming over here. You know what I also need to do is I could get my Mol I Do I have a Molotov? I do actually have a Molotov. I could burn the other one. That is an option. That fire is pretty effective against these guys. There we go. He's down. Smash that. There, um... Where's that corrosive at? I don't know, I don't see him. Oh, here you are. The Juggernaut's not seeing us. Oh, perfect. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I know I should... I should probably do him. Because I think that would actually probably be kind of cool. So why don't we do that, right? Where's the gun? Can I just drop the A7? Or no, it's on my back. Okay, cool. I'm wearing it. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure we have a little bit of power before we, we charge down there. Just seems kind of dumb to try and fight something without any power. If we gotta, you know, do it that way. Um, yeah, keep that battery system on. And we'll just kill these last few dudes. Hey, don't smash the car, please. Just come straight at me. And can I get... Uh, can I wield the Molotov, first of all? Yep. And if I try and throw it, could I hit him? Not really. Not quite yet. Uh, I don't know how long it lasts, like, time-wise. So maybe I'll wait to try and light it. I, it just says lit. Oh, cool. I wonder... Oh, no. It, it went out. Eh. Um, throw it. Oh. Kind of got them. I might have to run them into it a little bit. Let's uh, run you back into that fire there, friend. Yeah, I don't care if I'm rising as long as I'm not getting hurt by the fire. I just kind of want you to get hurt by said fire. And they don't seem to be that hurt by it, actually. Hmm. I could have sworn that they got more hurt by that. Okay, well, good to know. That did not work. Just go auto. Oh, what? No. That was bad. That was like seriously bad. Like, totally, like, just messed it up. You might not die from this. Okay, I think I need to get him back to the fire, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if we can navigate you back towards that fire a little bit. Gonna slam into the other zombie for me. Thank you. Let's just run over here. But he has to run through it. Good. Right? Come on, that's gotta that's gotta be hurting. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're warm. Get the Jane out. Oh nope. We should be done this is not. So we can't hit anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm actually Honestly, I'm just doing this a little bit before work right now. I've just been, like, needing my gaming time whenever I can get it. <laughs> okay, so the Molotov did prove to be somewhat effective. I think it actually drained their health a little bit after the fact, too. Not 100% sure on that, but I think that's what happened. But, I mean... We got a laser rifle. We do have some power. Let's just make sure that it's charged up before we go exploring. <laughs> around our new doctor's office. Just want to make sure nothing's going to walk up on us. 
We might even want to sleep out here and see if anything stumbles acro across us. What was that? I saw something for a second there that was concerning. Okay, uh, there's something in there. Okay. A shocker brute. Skeletal juggernaut. Definitely want to take care of that. Yeah, I think that we, we've definitely taken care of business pretty nicely. There's definitely some enemies around here that I'm still concerned about, including that Shocker Brute. But that Shocker Brute act and Skeletal Shocker actually should both prove to be good sources of um, Cybernex for me. I'm okay with that, honestly. Those things that are just south there that, of us are uh, like blobs, yeah. Okay. Whatever, I'm fine with some blobs. You can kill them easily. Here we got a laser rifle with us, our other guns down by the car. I do need to remember that there. And uh, Skeletal Shocker is trying to get me. Oh, did I kill him last time? I think I think I did. I think that they were in there and they like couldn't get out or something. I vaguely remember something about that. Is that... Yes. Now we got that Shocker Brute coming our way. That's perfect, actually. That's kind of what I wanted. Oh, Skeletal Shocker, I need to take you out first, actually. Yeah, this could actually be a little painful here. Um... Yeah, I don't care about going auto on him. It's worth it. The Skeletal Shocker, are you kidding me? I'm not fighting that. Oh, look at our, how happy we are. I think that maybe part of that was due to the fire. We'll let you get a little closer there, buddy. I don't like getting much closer than that, though. There we go. He's down. Okay, the shockers are both down. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, we don't want to be doing this and then having the neighborhood descend upon us while we're in mid-surgery. <laughs> Right? That would not be smart. Get that Jane out. You know, I've realized that it doesn't make sense to actually try and go for the sheath anymore in the inventory menu. But to just, like, try and hit the Jane directly. And, yeah, that looks good to me. Okay. I would like to go get those corpses and then maybe try and dissect them. If the game lets me, let's get our power back and then we'll we'll try and do that. We'll we'll bring the car up to them. How about that, eh? Um, also we're craving fire. Well, there's a fire right there. Okay, weird. I guess it doesn't count as fire or something. Okay, we got all of our stuff. Nice. Oh, uh oh. What happened there? Something got really messed up our car. Did I drive it into something? I don't remember driving it into anything. Whatever. Get the car's a little fixed up. It was a little banged up. Um, can I do something like that? Yeah, that should work. Cool. And then... Oh, northwest, I heard Lamb. Well, if I heard more like that, I would be concerned, but I'm pretty sure that we're fine. Okay. I'm gonna actually just move the car over a fair amount. And then it's just back this back up on it. And we're not gonna drive over with corpses. Oh, actually, do you see how it's on the tile there? That's kinda nice. Um, and then let's try and get scalpels out and see if this will work for us. Actually, hold on. You know what we need to do is I have a cybernetic with us right now that I wanted to deal with. Um, where is it? <laughs> which, which one? I wanted to do the washing kit maybe? Or do I already have that with me? I already have that with me. It looks like I was trying to get offensive-defensive CDM system. 
cleaned. Right? I think that that's something that is a... It's a decent CVM. I think it's worth um, fixing up and either installing it myself or a friend because it is pretty useful being able to shock enemies that are trying to hit you. Like, no joke, it's like super, super useful. Okay, um, any... I think you've got the pouches already in my inventory, actually. No? They gotta be around here somewhere. Here we go. And then... They're actually all now stacked up, that's funny. I combined the two stacks. Uh, I have them, I just don't see them right now. Oh, they're just at the very bottom. Of course they are. Okay, I actually already have one of those that looks like it was faulty and I failed at installing it last time. I think I remember that. That was a while ago. Like, seriously, that was a long, long time ago, if that is what I'm thinking of. Uh, we've got our scalpels out, so we should be able to do this nice section. Let's just go for it. Let's see what we get. We'll, we'll shoot anything with lasers that gets close, right? <laughs> You know, honestly, the hunger thing is so out of whack, I've kind of, like, stopped even caring about that part of the game. Like, I I used to really care about, like, role-playing as, like, feeding myself. At this point, it just doesn't seem to work, you know, completely honestly. It just doesn't work. I cannot seem to maintain the calorie intake that our character needs. And it may be the, the mutations I have are just... There's, there's just too many mutations, basically. Um, faulty bionics. Is that it? Faulty bionics, really? Okay. Um, where's that skeletal shocker? They're over there. They're fine. They're fine where we are. They're fine where they are. Right? That grabber zombie's gonna try and get me. Yeah, I think the um go ahead and get that Jane out. Just clear out these these blocks here. Hello. Let's see, that wasn't so bad, was it? Easy. Um and then there's the skeletal shocker, which is should be attacking me. I don't know why they're not. Why they haven't seen me. Here we go. That's what I thought. Can I hit them? Yes. I can kill them before they, they even get a shot off on us. That's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. I know that I wanted to install the CVMs, but there's just too many of these dudes right here. You know, you gotta... You gotta do the dissection when the game gives it to you. Uh, hold on. We've used up a lot of power recently. You gotta stay on top of that power. You don't want to mess with that. <laughs> okay, dissect. Yeah, I, I have, like, it's so weird on days like this because it's like I have plenty of things to do, but there's, like, a lot of time in between them. And in the grand scheme of the whole day, it's not that much, but it just kind of, like, hangs over you. You know? I don't know. It's, it's very different than my normal job. Of like, you gotta get it all done right now. Now it's like, yeah, get it done whenever. A very different type of life. <laughs> than what I'm used to, is all I'm saying. Um, is that, are we gonna get like nothing from these guys? I've got a feeling that we might get nothing here. Gotta get the scalpels out. I kind of don't know what else we could get from these grade of zombies. I think we really should be going for that lab at this point. Yeah, I think that um, things really got messed up 
I went crazy down the mutation category. It might just be that the mutations need to have rebalancing done on them. You know, to be completely honest. Um, tell you what, friend, why don't you come out, out of there with me? Yep, and we'll just like kind of go in here. And just see if we can do the surgery, right? Yeah, it's closed. Um, let's just go for it, right? There's a 7% chance of failing. Why am I so dumb right now? Depressed. And itchy skin. Can I just wait five minutes and see if that goes away? Here we go. That's, that's, a, it's, I mean, one of the things went away. Here we go, that's, let's go for it. It's 6% chance of failure. If this doesn't go right, it's probably going to be just like one of those things where um, it gets like, it needs a reset, you know? Um, I did not see, did it do it correctly? I'm pretty sure it did. Did it say after successful? Yeah, okay. Cool, okay, we now have thermal dissipation. <laughs> And a dielectric capacitance system as well? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. I think with 11% chance failure, that's pretty good odds as well. Like, I don't think that if this did me mess up, I don't think we'd get that badly hurt. Yep, successfully installed. Okay, so now fire and electricity basically can't hurt me. Cool. <laughs> like, seriously, like... Those, those CBMs are insane. Like, um, let's have a look at them. I'm just curious if what they say. Powerful heat sinks. Does not affect your internal temperature. Just stuff coming from the outside. Interesting. Um, and then... Hmm. So this should be on, right? I'm just trying to make sure I'm reading that. I mean, it's it does drain our power ever so slightly when that, that is on. I think that I just need to turn that on like when there's electricity around to prevent me from getting stunned, essentially. You know? You have all of our big backpack and stuff, but I feel like we don't need to like even stay here. We got like all the stuff installed. This doctor's office is like pretty solid. Um, we're gonna put an auto dock here. But I'm kind of like I don't know what to do next, to be honest. There's like um, some buildings that I wanted to check out around here, uh, but I can't remember them what they were off the top of my head right now. Um, I think I'm gonna have to just kind of end this right here right now. I know it's a little bit early. I might come back and finish it up. If not, thank you for joining me. It's been Orange One.